Top 5 Most Thrilling Last Over Finishes in Cricket History Number 5 The fourth match between Sri Lanka vs Pakistan at Sharjah on April 12, 2002 in Sharjah Cup, Sri Lanka won the toss and elected to bat first. Sri Lanka struggle early on, losing their top order batsman while Adipatu scored unbeaten 77 runs off 109 balls. In response, Pakistan's opening batsman, Shahid Afridi dismissal without scored runs but other batsmen scored runs the Pakistan required 13 runs off the final over to win the match. Chaminda Vas bowled the final over for Sri Lanka. But they can score just 3 runs in the last over. Finally Sri Lanka won by 9 runs in this match. Yunus Khan and Wasim Akram hit some lusty blows yet failed to deliver the victory. And only because of some tremendous bowling by Chaminda Vas and Nuwan Zoisha who, when all Pakistan needed was a run a ball between them conceded just nine runs in three overs and bowled neither a wide nor a no ball. Number 4 The New Zealand Tour of South Africa first ODI in Durban on November 25, 2007, was a closely contested match that ended won by South African in a thrilling. South Africa won the toss and elected to field first, setting a total of 248 runs for the loss of six wickets in their allotted 50 overs. In reply, South Africa struggled early on, losing their top-order batsmen but Graham Smith and A.B. de Villiers revived their innings. The South African required 11 runs off the final over to win the match. However first three deliveries in last over, they scored just two runs but fourth and fiveth deliveries Andre Nell hitting two consecutive fours. Andre Nell took one run the last ball and secure a dramatic win for South African. Number 3 Was he The Pakistan Tour of New Zealand in 1995 featured a second one-day international match played in Christchurch on December 17, 1995. Pakistan won the toss and elected to bat first. Pakistan's opening batsmen, Ramiz Raja and Amr Suhil, couldn't provide it a solid start. However, after their dismissal, Insamam Al Haq made a significant contribution with 80 runs off 95 balls and also Salim Malik scored 58. Pakistan finished their innings at 232 runs for the loss of 9 wickets in 50 overs. For New Zealand, Danny Morrison took 5 wickets. In response, New Zealand's opening batsmen didn't give a strong start. Chris Cairns scoring 54 runs off 63 balls and keeping the run chase on track. Although there were some hiccups with a few quick wickets, New Zealand chased down the target in the last over with 1 wickets in hand. New Zealand required 10 runs off the final over to win the match. Wasim Akram bowled the final over for Pakistan. Gavin Larson batting brilliantly and at last moment he scored 14 runs just 07 deliveries New Zealand won by one wicket with one ball remaining in this thrilling match. In the sixth ODI of New Zealand's tour of South Africa on November 4, 2000, South Africa won the toss and elected to field first at Newlands Cricket Ground in Cape Town. In response, South African lost wickets at regular intervals and were struggling at 4-65 at one stage. However, Lance Klusener played a magnificent innings of 59 off just 42 balls, also Mark Boucher and Jonty Rhodes to keep New Zealand in the hunt. South Africa needed 11 runs to win in the final over. Lance Klusener and Shafiq Abraham scored four runs in first four ball but Lance Klusener hitting two consecutive fours off the fifth and sixth balls respectively won this match by three wickets with zero balls remaining. Number 1 The second ODI match between Sri Lanka and Australia in 2004 with a thrilling final over took place at the Rangiri Dumbulla International Stadium in Dumbulla. 
In the match, Sri Lanka batted first and scored 245 in their allotted 50 overs. In reply, Australia struggled early on, losing their top order batsman Michael Clark. However, a partnership between Matthew Hayden and Ricky Ponting revived their innings, and they needed eight runs to win in the final over. Chaminda Voss bowled the final over for Sri Lanka. First five ball they scored just three runs. So five runs needed to win from the final ball Michael Bevan faced Voss, but he couldn't connect the ball properly, and the batsman ran three runs. Sri Lanka won by just one run. The thrilling final over made the match a memorable one for cricket fans around the world.